Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenn Vo. I am live here at SmileCon, and I am so excited to have Ben from Dental Equipment Liquidators. Ben, welcome to the podcast. Hi, how you doing? Did your family, like, did your did your dad and your uncles, did they have that background as well? Yeah, we had a land clearing business. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. Dentistry is one of those things where once they get a hold of you, it's hard for you to get out. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious, like, how with that type of background, how did, how did you get kind of pulled into dentistry? So I did some fabricating for dental equipment liquidators. Yeah. Um, and that turned into they needed more and more and more specialty stuff, you know, aluminum welding and such yeah. as that. Um, and then they're like, you, know, you want to come on full time. We yeah. need somebody that, that can handle the equipment and deliver, install it. Don't mind you know, being on the road, driving a hundred thousand miles a year, uh, delivering all this yeah. stuff because delivering is really our niche because we get to bring it into the office, set it up for the doctor, show the doctor how it works. And if there's any questions that the doctor has, it's not over the phone. I'm face to face with the doctor so I can explain it to him. Would you say that that's like a, a really core component core value of your of the company that you work with dental equipment service you know, yeah customer service is big with us you know and i think a lot of times when someone thinks about uh, you know buying refurbished equipment they're thinking like i'm just gonna try to save a buck right but it's so much more than that right you can you can save a buck but you can also get treated well too you know again uh, i love the fact that you like that component of the job face to face now you've been with the company for how long 12 years 12 years so so you've been there, you've probably seen everything and whatnot. Let me ask you this, for someone who's been there for 12 years and the company's been around since you said, what? 98. 98. Obviously, you guys are doing something right or else you wouldn't be around. But for you to be with that company that long, what, what about the company that, that has kept you in the company for so long? The owners. The owners. Yeah, they treat us like family. Wow. And would you say that the way that they treat you, it also translates to the customers? Yes, and it makes everybody that works with the company love to come to work and love to take care of the doctors. We yeah. don't want to put out a mediocre piece of equipment. Yeah. Everything has to be top-notch. Like, everything leaves is perfect. I actually had a doctor, um, or a, it wasn't a doctor, it was a uh, Patterson rep. Yeah. Complained to me that I was selling ADEC equipment in his territory. And I was like, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> but this is refurbished equipment that I brought yeah. from Florida myself. So, yeah. so even dental reps that are seeing the equipment in the office, they think it's brand new. Wow. Wow. So let's let's address that because I think a lot of times there's a misconception that when you buy refurbished equipment, uh, you're buying something that probably is, they think it's either barely working or it looks bad or it's going to fall apart like within six months. Let's talk about like the process that you guys take. And again, there's a lot of people who sell, you know, I have a Facebook group where people sell like their used equipment. Mm -hmm. This is different from some doctor like, hey, I'm using this old chair and I'm tired of it. I just want to sell it to you. Talk about the steps that you guys make to make it fully refurbished. Because again, you know, I, uh, car dealerships do that, right? Like, they're certified used and they go through like a 12 or 20 step process. What's the process like at your company? So what we do is, is when they, every chair is made per order. Sure. So, so you call and you're like, okay, I want a, an ADEC 1040 Cascade radius chair. And in that, I want ultra leather. I want a relaxer in it. I want an electric handpiece. So we build the chair to your specifications. Okay. So that, that, is, that is something I think uh, I didn't know. That's a, something that a lot of people don't know. I mean, I, a lot of times they think whatever, whatever you have is what they get. So you're saying that you guys come in and re refurbish truly refurbish the chair to their specifications yep. so when they place the order um and they they get to the the time on the the production schedule we pull it off the shelf we strip it all down to bare bones so we take all the plastics off of it the frame is prepped and painted separately than the plastic so there's no spots that aren't hit with paint like it's painted like restoring a car wow in pieces so we do that um, strip everything down paint everything in pieces put it all back together and then we rebuild the blocks, so we put new needle valves, new gaskets, new O-rings, sealed so everything. So it's is. not the old one that's there. No, the it, block it, is, but all the gaskets are, yeah. it's, it's, it's like starting over. Yeah, wow. Um, all the tubing's replaced, HVE valves, air water syringes, everything's replaced. 
it sounds like almost like restoring a classic car. Like a 66 Mustang. Yeah, 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 I love that. I love that. Now, um, and, and that's something so important to understand. Now, look, uh, people always want to know how they can save money and whatnot. So we're, we're just going to be general because I know, like, we can't talk specifics and whatnot. But let's say, for example, like, uh, I like to talk about ADEC. And, and I'll ask you what your preferences are. But let's say, like, an ADEC chair from, from your company, right? as opposed to buying it brand spanking new from the supply house. How much savings is a doctor getting there? Yeah. Would you could say like on average if from buying new? I would say 30 to 40% wow. on, on an ADEC chair. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, um, put you on the spot again, um, ADEC chairs, I mean, if they are taken care of the right way, I mean, how long, you know, you've been in this industry for a long time. How long would, a, would an ADEC chair last for, for a doctor? I still sell chairs that were built in the 90s, and they still wow. work flawless, and doctors love them. Wow, wow, wow. So, and again, that's, that's huge because, again, if you think about it, saving 30 40%, it's like buying another chair right there, right? Like for someone who's really starting out. But also, um, we're not talking about buying any chair. We're talking about, you know, yeah, refurbished ADEC. But a refurbished ADEC is better than a lot of – I'm sure you would say better than some – we're not going to name any brands – we're right. brand agnostic. Right. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Now we're gonna ask you for your favors. But we're not gonna throw anyone under under the bus. But um, I'm sure that some ADEX are better than some brand new. Absolutely, chairs. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So I want to. I want to go back to again. I, I'm just fascinated by by your background. So again, uh, coming from heavy machinery. Now coming over here. Let me ask you this: What's harder to deal with, dental chairs or heavy machinery? Heavy machinery. There you go. There you go. Much heavier, much dirtier. Much dirtier. Yeah. Probably maybe a little bit less safe sometimes. Oh, yes. Safe yeah. sometimes. So, you know, we, we focus on chairs because, again, the chair is, like, probably the biggest expense when it comes to equipment in a practice. Talk about some of the other products that you guys have in their line. Uh, we have x-rays. We have um, vacuums, compressors. Uh, we can outfit an entire office. Some wow. of the stuff is new. Um, majority of it is refurbished. Like you were saying, you know, there there is used and there is refurbished. Sure. Everything we have that we sell is either refurbished or new. And and when you go through refurbished, you guys go through this process. And I, and again, it's, we talked about the chairs, what you guys did. Do you guys go through the same type of process when it comes to the other equipment? X-rays, yes. Compressors, vacuums are all tore apart. All the bearings are replaced. It's like brand new. It's like resetting the clock. Yeah, there you go. And uh, so, again, you know, we talked about service. And you were talking about how... Um, you know, you guys actually deliver it and install too. Talk about that process there because that's important. It's one thing to say, okay, and, and we're not going to name any names, but there's some companies where you'll buy it and they'll, they'll ship it to you in a crate and uh, good luck. Right. How do you guys handle that? So we like to deliver and install a majority of our stuff. Yeah. Of course, California, we don't go that far, so we do have to freight it. Freight is a big issue. So I was talking to a freight company. Um, he was picking up at our office. Yeah. And he explained to me from... From our office just to Lakeland, that pallet gets loaded and unloaded three times. Wow. So it doesn't, like, leave here and go to Louisiana and then go to California. It can be 30 times that that's loaded oh and unloaded. Gosh. So every time a forklift touches it, there's a chance of damaging the pallet, which is going to damage the chair. And, and, and you and I both know. I mean, look, I'm just going to use an example that everyone understands. I mean, look at the the... I love I love my FedEx uh, patients and I love my FedEx uh, UPS patients and guys that work at Amazon. I, I love it. it's not I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about everyone else, right? But how many times have we seen videos where like the UPS guy just like just launched like something over there? I can only imagine with something really heavy dental equipment. Um, they're just trying to they they got a timeline. They're just trying to get it to one place or another. I can imagine. If it's going 30 times, there's a chance it's got scuffed, at least Absolutely. scuffed or something. Absolutely. That's crazy. So is that why you guys are just prefer to, to actually transport it yourselves? Making sure the doctor gets it on time. Oh, that's huge. It's big. Um, the other convenience factor we have is when I send my guys out, it's in our truck. So we transport it the entire way so it gets there safe. And we can remove the doctor's old stuff so he doesn't have to have a company come in, move oh, the old gosh. chair, That's and then huge. have somebody unload it off a pallet in the parking lot, get it into his office, and then another <laughs> guy come hook it up. That's that's a lot of stress on the and that's doctor. a lot and that's a lot of wasted time too. Yes. Now I'm just curious. Walk me through the whole process. So a doctor wants to get a new chair. He's got an old chair. He wants a, a new chair from you guys, a refurbished chair. They call and they get everything set up. You guys uh, refurbish it to their specification. 
And they're like, hey, look, I got this old chair. I don't know what to do. Like, what happens there? What happens to that old chair? How do you guys handle that? Do you guys just say, hey, you know, maybe the doctor says, just get this out of here. Do you guys take it away? Do they sell it to you guys for credit? Like, how does that normally work? So I'm in the sales department, so I'm the one oh, that okay. usually talks to the doctor. Oh, okay. Um, so I'll talk to them, say, hey, what do you got there? Send me some pictures. I need pictures of the plumbing. Like, this needs to be seamless for the doctor. Yeah. I want my guys to be in and out of his life in an hour and a half. <laughs> I don't want... And I don't want him to have to stay late after work yeah. or bother his patients during the day. So it needs to be as, as, as fast as possible and as efficient as possible. Um, so he'll send me pictures, and I'm like, hey, you know, it, the, the chair really has no value. Yeah. I will remove it for you and dispose of it for you. i got scrappers that come to our office yeah. all the time to pick up old stuff. Um, if it has any value, I'll absolutely give you a credit off your oh, invoice. Well. So I'll buy stuff from them as well. Well, I mean, that sounds like a win-win. Win-win being like, okay, look, uh, it's one thing to get a chair in there. It's another thing, get that sucker out of there, right? And again, I love the fact that, you know, you guys come do that at the same time as opposed to, okay, the one guy, because I'll tell you guys right now, and I, won't, I, and I feel comfortable saying this, the Shines and the Pattersons of the world, they won't get rid of your stuff, man. Like, like they'll, they'll move it and they'll say, where do you want me to put it? And they just leave it there. They're not junk, you know, they're not bringing it to the junkyard. They're not getting rid of that. So I love the fact that you guys have that service because as a doctor myself, that is a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. That is a pain in the butt. Okay, so we're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to come back to the company. But I want to shift gears a little bit because I am interested. You've been in the industry for a while. Your family has been in just, you, you know how to fix things. You understand how machines work. So I'm going to ask you this. For someone who has the dental experience and also just machinery experience as well, what is your favorite dental chair? ADEC, hands down. ADEC, hands down. Now, now, we won't even go into why because we know how ADEC fit, but there's different ADEC units. Which one, what's your, like, favorite? Like, if I sell this to, to you, Glenn, like, you'll never hear, I'll never hear from you except you're going to send me, like, a, a, like some cookies at Christmas because you, you should be so happy. What is your favorite, like, ADEC unit? I like the Cascade. The Cascade, um, okay. A, a lot of doctors like it. The newer ADEC chairs, the 500 series, they're nice chairs, but there is a, a soft delay. So when you hit the button, it takes a second for it to start huh. to go. And they designed the chair for that to happen so the patient wasn't, like, rapidly yeah. moving. But a lot of patient doctors are impatient. They're yeah. like, listen, I don't have time for this chair to wait. <laughs> like, when I need the patient to move an inch, I need to hit the button and him move so I can readjust. A lot of doctors like the Cascades because yeah. of their speed. Well, wow. and, and let me ask you this. So, so with the, the Cascade, whenever, whenever you, or let's just say ADIC in general, whenever you sell a refurbished ADIC unit, how often does anyone even have to call you back and say, hey, something's going on with my chair? Not very often, <laughs> but I can tell you if they do, I can walk them through getting it moving again on the phone. Really? Yes. Yeah. So you guys don't have to, they don't have to call. Wow. They can call me. I'm tech support. Well, I well. can walk them through whatever. I've had doctors hotwire the hair because you know, <laughs> the chair because like a a, a, a sensor went out. Yeah, a, 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 a um, limit switch. Yeah, like if you take the cuspidor lock out, you can put it in these wow. two pens and you can move the chair. And he's like, "Great, I'll have my guy come tomorrow and fix it." Wow, so. I love that. I love that. Now, um, if a uh, you know, so we have a bunch of different viewers, different types of doctors, startups. People who have existing practice want to outfit more ops. They're expanding and whatnot. If uh, if some doc came to you, let's say they just came to you and they said, "All right, um, I want to let you. Here's a here's a blank check. I need a dental. I need a couple of dental chairs. I need new compress. All that stuff. Walk me through that. So again, if they wanted to get some new chairs, what would you tell them to do? So first, I need to know what kind of of setup they like sure if they like rear delivery if they like there nine o'clock three o'clock the over the patient yeah. do they want radius do they want a side mount do they want a track light there's a lot of different things that do i do you go guys through. can you accommodate all those things absolutely really absolutely well wow. and, and that's important because a lot of times depending on who's selling the equipment they just kind of pigeon you hole you into what they have oh um yes i, I can sell you this this pelton and crane it's a great deal wait a minute can I still get some parts for that? Exactly. Like, what's going on? Oh, no, but I can give you a great deal. So, again, I love the fact that you guys have that because there, I will tell you right now, uh, there's a lot of doctors who they feel like they're getting a good deal, and they comes back to bite there in the butt when they get something that it, it works good right now. But if you can't get the parts or the service, you're kind of, you're kind of, kind of screwed over right there. Right. So, exactly. so you know, you, you guys have all those different things there. 
ADEC, you love the ADEC. The Radius, you love, love as well. I'm trying to think of the, the older ADEX, the one before Cascade. The Decade? That's right. Had the arms that fold down. There you go. Right. Do you guys have some of those? Yes. Yeah, I have over 3,000 chairs in stock. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, out of those 3,000 chairs, how many ADEC chairs do you have? I would say probably in the 1,700 number. So, so if a doctor right now, like they just listen to us talk, and they're like, okay, I want to buy an ADEC chair, is, is there a good chance – you have a chair for them. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now, um, okay. So let's talk through the, the, the process. Someone, they see the chair, they, they want to refurbish. It's like, hey, I want ultra plush leather. I want it black. I want all these different things on it. What's the lead time normally? Usually four weeks. Four weeks. So I have my own upholstery department. I have three guys that all, it's all they do is make upholstery. Wait, wait. So you guys don't out, okay. So that's something. So you don't outsource the upholstery. No. Wow. Everything's done in-house. So if there's something that they don't like, uh, then they just call you. They don't have to call, they don't have to go call this other, uh, someone send out upholstery kit to them, all that stuff. Wow. And if there is happen to be damage, like a stool got damaged in transport, as soon as my guys discover it, they call me, I get another one in production and get it right to the doctor. Wow. Wow. Okay. So this is really important. I want to highlight. So you guys have upholstery you do all the, so all the fabric, uh, the refurbish, all the stuff, that's all in-house. Yes. Do you, what do you guys outsource? Nothing. Nothing. Wow. So any problems? They call you because also you're a tech support. But first of all, let me ask you this. How many hats do you wear? It seems like, look, you're, you're, dri- you're driving a truck, right? You're, you're fixing things. You're, you're, you're tech support. How many hats do you wear at the company? I'm um, hands on everything <laughs> from from opening up the shop in the morning to oh I love the it shop at night I love it and and I think that's super important that for people to understand is that look I mean you have been with the company for a long time you've done you you know everything inside and out and yet you still love it. you're still and you're here at the show right you're here at the show talking to the doctors yeah. I mean I don't know if that says anything about culture better than that I mean what you just did right there yeah, it's it's customer support again that's what yeah. we're about um me having the technical background, I know what to talk to the doctor about, and I know what will fit in his office. I'm not yeah. some salesman that's just going, hey, this is a nice piece I can make commission you just got to cram it in there. Take this. Yeah. I sell the doctor what he needs and what's going to work for him for the best price that I can. Yeah. Now, how often, uh, because, again, it seems like you have a lot of touch points with all these customers, how often do you get repeat customers? All the time. All the time. Would I you actually s- seen two doctors today that want to buy more chairs <laughs> that I've sold in the past. You know, you know um, I want to I want to address uh, again, uh, and I think that most of the mis misinformation out there is from, and, and I get, I understand. There's a lot of misinformation because there's a lot of dealers, right? There's a lot of salespeople. Hey, they want to make a buck too. They want to sell the chairs. And Everybody's like got to eat. Everyone's <laughs> got to eat, right? But one of the again, the one of the misinformation is like, if I buy a chair from someone who refurbishes it, it's gonna break down on me in a couple of months. Let's talk about like. Again, doctors like to feel safe. You talk to dentists all the time, right? Like, hey, um, is there a kind of warranty? Or are you just going to get up and, and forget about me? You just get up and leave? What does that look like when someone buys something that's significant, like a chair? You know, like what, what's the warranties look like? What's this a service after the sale looks like? So we have a one-year parts, um, 90 days labor warranty. Okay. My guys are always on the road. Every week they're going somewhere. Um, if I don't happen to be in that area, I have their local tech fix it, and I reimburse them for that service charge. Okay. Um, so there's there's no fees on them. Um, and I will help them however I can. Even after the sale, there's this not like your warranty's up, you're on your own. I, I never do that. Again, customer service yeah. is what, what feeds our business. How often do you have people who, you know, I mean, they bought the chair a long time ago, and they just they just need some advice. And, like, how often do you get those calls? Um, I'd say probably a couple a month yeah. of just small, like, how do I adjust this? Yeah. How do I? Like, and, and you still take them, even though they bought the chair like years ago. Absolutely. And, oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. I mean, and again, that's, uh, it sounds in this day and age of uh, people are like, hey, I want to sell something and I just want to move on. That, that's really refreshing, but it's, it's, it's almost foreign sometimes, unfortunately, right? Like that, that customer service aspect there is so foreign there. Um, okay, so right now in the show, what kind of deals do you guys have going on right now? So at this show, we're offering free delivery and installation. Free delivery and installation. Wow. Uh, is there a limit to that? What if someone wants to buy like uh, four chairs? Then we'd, I'd get free altar leather at the show. As well. Really? Anything over three chairs. 
Okay. Wow. So, um, you know, again, we're, I just want to throw that out there for those who are watching and listening right now. And you're thinking, right? You're thinking about, you know, getting some chairs from this company here. You're saying three. Ch- okay. So first of all, free delivery and installation. Correct. But if they buy more than th- three or more, free ultra, free leather. ultra leather. Wow. What's the value on the ultra leather? So on the 511s, it's 595 per chair. That adds up. On Cascades, <laughs> it's 395 per chair. Wow, that adds up. Okay, so now I, we, we asked you about the what's the recommended, like your favorite, right? Let's, let's, let's talk about, we won't say the worst, but what's the ones you would not recommend? If someone's out there, they're thinking about like buying, maybe if it's not from you, from, you, from someone, maybe from another doctor or someone else. What are, what are some of the things that you, they have to be? You have to be careful pelt and crane closed. Yeah. So there's no parts available now. Yeah. Um, whatever parts they're making, and I talked to them, and they said, listen, we're going to try to make parts for seven years, but it could be seven months and we stop making parts. Wow. So whenever they get low on stock, they're not either going to make that part or they'll make a limited supply, and then they're done. So what happens when they're done? You're just <laughs> – you're, you're try, done. Try to buy used parts. Wow. Um, and, and that becomes a headache, right? Yes. Yeah. So Pelton and Crane um, – uh, any other companies that come to mind at all? Uh, Dental East chairs are all discontinued. They're making just forest chairs now. Wow. Um, I didn't know that myself. Yeah, so there's some of the um, the advantage chairs I tried getting some parts for, and they're discontinued. They don't make right. the parts for them. And, and, you know, the thing is, is like, it, 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 you, look, repairs happen, right, no matter what. You know, you can be very careful. When it, things happen, you need to prepare things. But if you can't find a part, I mean... And that's the scariest part. Is that it is scary because so many, so many towns now are building up more. Their electrical s- supply is not yeah. what it was because yeah. they're trying. They're building faster than they can build. Yeah, the um, the supporting ec- and uh, sort of infrastructure. So if you get a power strike, your oh, circuit gosh. board goes out. Now your chair doesn't work. Oh my gosh! So you call for a Pelton crane circuit board and you can't find one so and then you start searching ebay and all these oh dealers gosh. that might have one laying around with dust on it well and the thing is is then you become something that you're not trained to do right you're you're a dentist you're not trained to go look for parts you're not right. trying to uh, rig things together and then of course you know you reach out to your uh, your your tech that you work with local tech I mean, they got stuff to do too they don't have time to uh, allocate there so if it sounds like again, um, there's certain there's other companies other than they, ADEC, but ADEC's not going anywhere. Yeah. They make way too much money. So again, for a doctor who's thinking about, okay, well, I'm going to buy some used equipment. Hopefully, you buy from these guys because you understand why. But let's say you buy from someone else. Would you feel confident in saying like, if there's an ADEC chair, you're probably safe going with those guys? Yes. There you go. It just you because go. the way they're designed. Sure. Again, come from the technical side, I know how I've worked on every chair, and I know how yeah. they're built. And they're built different than everybody else's. Why they're the best. And it lasts, again, they last forever, you know. Yes. So, again, and especially from, you know, if, if you have someone who's taking care of it and whatnot, buying through you guys there. Okay, so we talked about chairs. And, you know, so you guys sell x-ray units. Yes. Um, you know, what are some of the new, you said you guys sell you new equipment as well. And I think that's something that people don't realize. They say, you know dental equipment liquidators are thinking buying used equipment. What are some of the new equipment that you guys sell? So there? we sell the mobile x-rays we sell new. Oh, okay. Um, we have two brands of those, the Genera and the, the Cocoon. Okay. Two that we sell new. Uh, the hand, uh, the, the handheld. Hand right. Okay, yeah. And the, that's, yeah, that's super important. Um, so you guys sell that. Yep. And, Compressors uh, and vacuums. I do, I do carry Sierra and Tech West. So if a doctor's like, listen, yeah, I, I really want to get a brand new one. I have brand new ones that I can sell. But you guys well. do have used ones as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, now, so. um, let me. Uh, you brought up Sierra and uh, Tech West. I do know. I don't know Sierra too well. Talk talk about Sierra and why you guys carry that particular line because because so, that, that's not as known as as Tech West. So they're a local company to Florida. They're from Leesburg. Oh, okay. Um, they've been in business, I believe. Six years. I've sold several of the units, and they are excellent units. They have you been over to warranty. their factory? I have not. Okay, okay. I have not. But their motors carry a 10-year warranty for the vacuum pump. Jeez. I mean, you know, that, that's pretty – I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, it's probably safe to say that within 10 years, you probably outgrow it anyways. Right. So 10 years is, is good there. So, and it's called Sierra, and they're out of Florida. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Wow. Wow, and you guys sell that, and you guys do the installation yep, for that as absolutely. well. Absolutely. 
Now, what, now, most of the equipment that you guys sell, do you guys do all the installation, or is there some things like, hey, you know, obviously a handheld, uh, there's, it's really walking you through the tech support. But FDA forms all you do. Yeah, but, but, but the big equipment, do you guys handle all the installation? Yes, yes. I like to, to install it all. That way I can have it running for the doctor. It doesn't get dropped off. Then the electrician comes out. My guys check the power voltage to make sure that it's correct, and then yeah. have the electrician just make that final connection. Uh, but we put it in place so nobody's moving it around, damage it, tipping it over. Because yeah. you do have to be careful with compressors and vacuums. Well, the thing is, is that uh, there's other companies out there. I'm sure you know all your competitors and whatnot. And a lot of times, seriously, I, I've heard it from other doctors. They ship it and it gets there on a pallet. And then they hire some local tech to put it together. Right. And, and you know, I can see the logic behind that. You save a bunch of money. Um but you guys want to just stay consistent, and you guys, has that, I'm just curious, like, has that ever come up, like, hey, I think we can save a couple of bucks by doing that. Has that ever come up? Or have, uh, or, or once it comes up, it's, you guys just nip in the bud and it stops never, the conversation. Never, that's, we're not, never. We're not sacrificing wow. our service for our doctors. And our doctors always say that. They're like, I love it. I point and say, there's the op. My guys pull it out, put the wow. new chair in. And they're like, yo, are you guys are done already? Wow. Like, a lot of times my doctors, if it's at night and my guys are doing the install, because my guys will work late. You know, they, yeah. we don't want to interfere with the doctor's patient load. So if we, if we get there at 6 and, and install it when he's shut down, that's great. That's great for him. It's great for us. Wow. A lot of times the doctors will buy my guys dinner. Like, well, yeah. Hey, hey let, me, that's, let me buy you dinner. Of you course. That's, awesome a, that, that's, that's the least you do. So, you know, you know, before, you know, before we tie things up, um, you know, for those who are just now just learning who you guys are. And, and again, I love the name. Right. I love that name. It's easy to remember. But there's a lot of things that you just told me that even I didn't know. I've known about your company. I did not know that you guys literally replaced, uh, you know, not the not the frame, not the bones, but all the other stuff. I did not realize that you guys replaced it all. I thought literally you just made sure it worked and you sold it. No. And I think that that's something, again, it's like we're. It's just like refurbishing a nice car, a classic car, right? I mean, those classic cars, they, uh, they, they, their value only goes up, right? The value goes up. You get these ADEC chairs that they don't make like that anymore. But, you know, for those who, are, uh, you know, are, are listening right now, what are some of the things that you want them to know about, your, about the company that you work for? That we're about customer service. You're, when you yeah. buy something from us, we're in into a relationship. Yeah. That's lifelong. And, and, again, if they want to reach out and they want to talk to you, Right. Can they get you on the phone? Absolutely. See, and I think that is something that is, is so powerful because, again, um, if you didn't stand by what this company did, if you didn't stand by the service, you would not want to talk to anybody. Right. You would, you would say, hey, uh, Billy, why don't you go talk to them and stay away. Now, do you, do you still go out on the road? I don't. Um, my guys, I'm, I'm FaceTime with my guys, so if there's yeah. an issue that they run into, my knowledge is always available for them. Um, so if they run into something, I, I train them. Sure, yeah. You never know as much as your master, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what, though? You, you got family obligations, too. So it's right. like, you know, you can't go. But, but again, I, I love the fact that you have, I mean, I think it's safe to say that everything that that's goes on at that company, you pretty much, you know that you've done it, and you probably know how it works. Yes, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. It's hard for me to handle everything that I got to handle at the shop while I'm out doing installs. Cause I did do that for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm hanging a track light and my phone rings. I'm like, I can't grab my phone. I'm hanging <laughs> a track light, you know? Um, so my guys out in the field, again, I'm, I'm always available for them 10, 11 o'clock at night yeah. if they're on a job. Yeah. My phone's always on. Yeah. And before, know? before we log out, before we, 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 we sign off here, obviously we're going to talk about the deal as well one more time, but I want to just ask you this because, um, you know, you didn't start out in dentistry. You just came in. What, what, what about dentistry and working with, you know, dentists can be kind of a crazy bunch. Like working with us, uh, what, what do you love uh, the most about working with in the dental profession? I like dealing with people, and this gives yeah. me the, the, the perfect outlet yeah. to, to, and I'm not a salesperson. I yeah. do do sales, but I don't. I'm not a pressure salesman. Yeah. You yeah. know, like selling cars, I could never do it because I couldn't force somebody into something. Yeah, yeah. You come to me with this is, I need a dental chair. You tell me what dental chair you need, and I'll get you a dental chair that's going to fit the bill for you. So it's not that I sell. I just direct them to, yeah. to what they need. Yeah. It's super simple, and I get to talk to people. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And, again, the fact that you've been with the company so long, right? And now let me ask you this because you've been in the company for a while. 
most people that work there have they been? I mean, you, the, your team members are there. Have they been there for a while too? I think our youngest employee is. I think he's been there for three years. Wow, wow. That's our, our oldest is uh, 16 years. Wow. I mean, geez, you know, that, that's a, I, see a, I see a nice watch in this future if he decides to retire there, right. both of you guys, right? So, again, before we log off here, um, the, the show, show special, and let me ask you this. Again, I'm not sure if you can make the decision, but I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, you know, the ADA is going to be uh, here. It's going to be winding down, like, tomorrow. But for those who watch this and the ADA is already over, right, and they're like, I want to take advantage of the deal. Do you feel comfortable extending the deal for a little bit? Absolutely. I'll extend it for a week. There you go. There you go. So the deal is, uh, and this one stood out, so I'll say this part, but you can let me know the other one. Uh, buy three or more chairs, you're going to get the ultra leather. Right. That's huge. Right. I'm telling you guys right now, I have that in my practice, and I want to let you guys understand the dental chair is for your patient. Okay, a lot of times you think it's for you. It's for your patient. When the, that patient sits down, they feel how comfortable the chair is. They're not thinking like, hey, this is an old refurbished. They're thinking this office is the nicest office ever because it feels comfortable. So it's worth it. And the value is like for some of them, you said 500 and for the- 595 for the 511s and 395 for all the other chairs. I mean, yeah, that up, that's a that's that's a lot of money right there. And the other deal was, what was the other one? Because I, I focus on the, because the, of the leather, I was like, I love the leather. Delivery software. and installation for free. Delivery and installation. You don't have to, now, are, are you adding, taking away the, the old chair too? Take it away. Wow, there you go. You don't have to you don't have to get your nephew to junk it behind a break some laws and put it behind the dumpster. Okay. Right. You can't do that. You let them do that. But uh thank you so much for jumping on. I had a great time and again That's I well. learned a lot about what you guys do. And here's the thing, at the end of the day, guys, uh good customer service. Get the the price that you guys buy their chairs it, as opposed to buying new, you can probably buy an extra chair. You yes. probably could. Absolutely. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for jumping on. I appreciate it. Guys, we'll have all their information. Reach out. He's going to extend the deal. We got him on video. He can't backtrack. He'll extend right. the deal. But here's the thing. Before you buy anything, give them a call, right? Give them a call. They're all about relationships. You'll find out. And, uh, and then once you talk to them, you'll feel comfortable. Thank you so much for jumping on. Reach out to them. We'll see you guys next time.